Redman from Redman Gaming here, and today I'm playing WWE 2K15 Who God NXT with Adrian Neville. The first match is Adrian Neville versus Sami Zayn. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, weighing 194 pounds. Like as a part of here tonight, Adrian Neville has traveled the globe perfecting his craft. Yeah, and if you haven't seen Adrian Neville before, you're in for a treat. Let's just say he earned every bit of the nickname, the man who gravity forgot. Is it weird him being called Adrian Neville? I kind of forgot about the Adrian part. But born in 1986, also known as Pat on the independent scene and now in all elite wrestling. Also wrestled a few matches for, I think it was New Wrestling Evolution in Italy. Under the guise of Jungle Pat, which is kind of a precursor to Jungle Boy. And approaching the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing 193 pounds, Sammy Zayn. Yeah, and it's that experience, Cole, that has carried him to this all-important match tonight against Adrian Neville. In this mode, who got NXT is only available on the PS3 version of WWE 2K15. It replaces the My Career mode. Anyway, Pac spent a lot of time in Dragon Gate uh, and the English 1PW promotion, becoming their first openweight champion in 2006. In Dragon Gate, winning the Open the Dream Gate Championship, Open the Brave Gate, Open the Twin Gate, and Open the Triangle Gate. What terrific names before finally being signed to WWE it's in 2012. Sami Zayn versus Adrian Neville, one on one. Oh, and both men bring so much to the table. Sami Zayn may have yeah, more kick. than anybody I've ever seen, and Adrian Neville is so technically sound and very explosive. And so much is on the line. One of these men will become the number one contender for the NXT Championship here tonight. Dragon's Lever. Obviously doing well now in All Elite Wrestling. Having some fantastic matches. My favorite, the match at Double or Nothing against Kenny Omega and Orange Cassidy for the AEW Championship. Oh no, wait a minute, Cole, what's he gonna do here? Probably should concentrate, but also in a stable known as Death Triangle with Penta El Muerto Zero and Ray Phoenix. And Pac and Ray Phoenix won the Casino Battle Royal and challenged the Young Bucks unsuccessfully for the tag titles. I'm sure um, Pac, <laughs> call him Pac, I'm so familiar calling him Pac. Oh, what a moonsault. Uh, but Neville here in WWE. I don't remember him doing that on the main roster, but he must have done. Crucifix. Oh, that was a serious shot there. Taunting really does help your momentum meter. Sometimes more than doing moves. Oh, there it is. Do I need to do a signature? I need to kick out of Sami Zayn's signature. Which is a bit weird. I don't like when you have to let other people do stuff to you. It should occur like a WrestleMania moment. There should just be a cutscene. Oh, 450 splash! The juice! Moving to Guerrero. Yeah, and now they have the opportunity to compete against each other on the tremendous stage here at NXT. You'd have to think that with so much on the line, this match is the biggest in the respective careers of Adrian Neville and Sami Zayn. I don't know what his signature is in this game. I know he's got the red slash black arrow as his finisher. Uh -oh. I thought it was a poison runner, but it's just a normal runner. All right, let's let Sammy hit me with the blue thunder pin, or um, what else does he have? Kind of that spinning code red. Here we go. Defeat Zane with the red arrow. It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena tonight. He's close to the ropes, but it doesn't matter. Get up the ropes. Adrian never looking to fly out. Oh, and it's over. You know, One, two, three. 
Neville's your winner. <laughs> I like Sami Zayn as he's getting pinned. I love it. First match done. Here's your winner. So Neville was in WWE from 2012 to 2018, winning the NXT Championship once, the tag titles twice, once with Oliver Gray, once with Corey Graves, I've forgotten both of those, and was the WWE Cruiserweight Championship on two occasions, having a nine-month reign with the title, dropping it to Akira Tozawa in the pre-show of SummerSlam of 2017. The next match is Adrian Neville versus Bo Dallas in a ladder match for the NXT Championship. Oh, leave. I really dropped the ball with Bo Dallas. I love Bo Dallas. I kept waiting for him to join Bray Wyatt or Bray Wyatt to throw him in the lake of reincarnation with Matt Hardy. He was rumored to be the Fiend in the lead up to WrestleMania, the burnt Fiend. But that was just rumour and innuendo networks, I believe, as an estate agent. But I was Bo leaving at the time. Here we are at NXT arrival. Some more things about Pac. There's no introduction, but this is a ladder match. Uh, what else haven't I mentioned? That's pretty much it. One of my other favourite matches of um, Adrian Neville, the Fatal 4-Way in 2014 in NXT. Uh, with Tyson Kidd, Sami Zayn and Tyler Breeze. I absolutely love that match. Um, and I think I mentioned just about everything else. Although he fell out with WWE when he lost the Cruiserweight Championship to Enzo Amore, who was supposed to lose a rematch, uh, was having none of it and stayed at home for the best part of a year, letting his contract expire. So a little bit disappointing for Neville fans, but I can only hope he's happy now in all elite wrestling, having a great time. Yeah, I didn't like the silly cage he used to wear for the ring. I didn't like that at all. But yes, he's been with All Elite Wrestling since 2019 to now. And I don't see him going anywhere anytime soon. But this was the ladder match. Back when Bo Dallas was a big deal. But it really sent Adrian Neville up into the NXT stratosphere. Some interesting early champs of NXT. Um, Big E was one, obviously now a WWE champion as of recording. Ladies and gentlemen, the rules in this match are simple. You cannot win by pinfall or submission or no countouts, no disqualifications. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and grab the NXT Championship. Yeah, and you know when you're walking into a match like this, you have to put all your fears aside. You cannot think about what it will feel like to fall off a 15-foot ladder. You can only think about winning. Easier said than done, I would think, King. You know, earlier today, somebody in the back asked me whose style I think this type of match favors, and honestly, I think it's a toss-up. Adrian Neville will put his body through anything to gain a win. Bo Dallas is so cunning and conniving. And let's not forget the role the ladder plays in this matchup. This isn't your traditional one-on-one -on -one contest. Yeah, you're right. That's another thing. You have to be able to use the ladder as a weapon. It takes a special somebody that's willing to do that much damage to another person. Pretty sure this was Bo Dallas' only ladder match in WWE. Reversal. Adrian Neville showing his prowess. He can fix another moves. And I think he's begging him to bring it. You. There he goes. Out of the ring. There's a reason why Bo Dallas is the longest reigning NXT champion in history. He can take a beating and keep bouncing back. Yeah, and he knows it. And he was just sent careening into those steel steps. Uh, time to eat some ladder. Wow. If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Ladder to the knee. And again, he gets struck with that object. Put the ladder in the corner. Oh no. He's uh, up I like wedging it. This could be bad. Oh. And he gets back in. Oh, you good. hear how his leg connected? Reversal. Hey, a bit better at reversing as we're going on. Got a 
the signature. It's the Rana. Should it just be a poison? It is a poison Rana! Poison Rana! He's getting leaning against the ropes so I can do this to Lanchar. It's kind of hard sometimes. Sometimes can you do that grapple and walk him along? Maybe you can. It's really difficult to get him by the ropes. I'm going to lose my finisher. Well, the ropes. Oh, should have been a drop kick. Enziguri onto the ladder. That would have been cool. It was actually really difficult to get him to lean against the ropes. I'll go here. Because he counters. There we go. There we go. Close line. Bo Dallas is eliminated from the Royal Rumble. Bunch of time. What a dive. What a dive. A red arrow off a ladder. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. I know I didn't have a finish, I was just gonna practice a dive. Red arrow off a ladder. That's gonna be hard. Nice well-placed kick to the ribs. Onto the ladder. Huge German on the ladder. And he gets back in the ring. Oh, this is 450? He's probably going to count on. Huge 450 on the floor. That did count. Don't worry about a red arrow from the top of the ladder. I wonder if I can put him on the table and do a red arrow. That'd be cool. I'm going to try that. Poison runner. I think he's going to work. Looks like we're going back inside. With a 180, Bo Dallas, the reversal. Now taking this match outside. There are no count outs. Oh. And there's the ladder. You know, some people say that Bo Dallas is deranged. That he's over. I'm just going to go by one of these already set up ladders. I think he knows exactly he's what way he's too doing. far so away. Smile and self assured demeanor is all an act. Honestly, I think so. I think he does it to get under people's skin. Nobody can be as unself aware as Bo Dallas. Here we go. Oh, no. That is not what I wanted at all. Well, let's see. We could still do it. Oh. Red arrow. Yes. He's done. And again, the ladder comes into play. He'll probably get up, but I wonder if it's like the SmackDown versus Raw matches where you had to get to tug on the belt like six times. One. The title is only inches away. Did he get it? Come on. That's it, Neville's won, Neville's won. Here is your new Here's NXT your champion.
I love the old title design as well. I'm not a fan of the new championship. I liked that one just because it was a little bit different. It had seven plates on it as well. Neville is your new NXT champion. Don't worry about opening the Dream Brave Twin or Triangle Gates or the United States Gates. The next match is Adrian Neville versus Corey Graves. Here he comes, the man that gravity forgot. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Newcastle of Montana. Weighing 194 pounds. The NXT champion. Neville. Neville. No other commentary on the way to the ring. It's weird, sometimes they have commentary, sometimes they don't. And there was no way to put the subtitles on, so... Yeah, it's weird. I never know whether to talk or not. Anyway, it was a great match. Um, Pac had with Kenny Omega on an episode of Dynamite back in 2019. Go and check that out, that's awesome. Um, they did wrestle on one of those early pay-per-views as well. Only just able to get the AEW pay-per-view, so I'm watching uh, Dynamite and Rampage each week right now. Here he comes with some, a pretty groovy theme tune as well. But wasn't in NXT that long, had to retire sadly and become a commentator. I did mention in the Sami Zayn video he did wrestle as Sterling James Keenan on the independent scene, made a few appearances in Ring of Honor and also featured heavily as the 1PW World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, had a feud with Raven, Steve Carino, a few other feuds as well. You can check out what a weird promotion 1PW was in the UK. That could almost be an episode of uh, Dark Side of the Ring in itself because it was absolutely bizarre. They used to have big shows at the Doncaster Dome, which they'd have thousands of people at and then hold tiny shows at this place called the Granby, which was the worst pub ever it could hold like a hundred people so it was really weird He loves creating chaos. He loves ruining a feel-good story. And one way of doing that is by taking out Adrian Neville here. I should have stepped that on. Uh, That's not my momentum. Adrian Neville has for Corey Graves all goes back to when Graves turned on Neville. It violated Neville's core value of respect. It shook the foundation that Neville functions on. Well, Graves turning on Neville may be Neville's motivation here. But let's not forget what's going through the mind of the self-proclaimed savior of misbehavior. Here's a guy who spent a month and a half plotting his revenge. Yeah, and that's a scary thought, Cole. You know Graves sees this match as an opportunity to reintroduce himself and remind everybody just how dangerous he is. He knows his opponent is completely helpless here. to resist the submission hold. Oh, don't let it go. Lose all my momentum, I haven't learned my lesson. He's got him up. Oh, that did it. Oh, oh, oh my basement dropped it. King, you've been running into the past while your attacker was able to continue to compete. What's that? Don't let go. Honestly, Don't let go. It just eats at you. Watching somebody you despise be able to go out there and do what you love while you're rehabbing impacts your entire life. And you have to imagine Corey Gray spent the past 10 weeks stewing over how he was going to get his revenge on Adrian Neville. Adrian Neville looking to fly high. Oh, 450 eats the canvas. And he gets out of the way. Roaring elbow. Roaring elbow. He put his leg lock on. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to let it go. Oh, do you know what I did? I put the controller against my leg. 
the button tap better and I accidentally let it go. Hey, let's not count out Graves yet, King. Adrian Neville took away his livelihood. He hasn't forgotten about that, and he likely won't stop until he exacts revenge. Oh, well, I don't disagree, Cole, but you have to admit things aren't looking good for Corey Graves. Adrian Neville not letting up. Oh, my gosh, big-time impact. Keep working these legs. There are really many other leg moves that you can do. There we go. And now all I need to do is hit him with the red arrow. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. The damage has <laughs> what definitely was that? been done. That was terrible. Now it may just be a matter of time. Corey Gaines gets out of trouble and quickly. Oh, big elbow. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Roll through. He thinks he has it. Two, two. Oh, bridging up, bridging up, bridging up, backslide. Can he score One. Pin? Poison runner. Whoa, he's measuring. That's it. He's out. No, not pin. Oops, I meant to just flip him over. He's going for the pin. Dude. This could no. Kick he's kicked out. out. He's kicked out. What a sensational maneuver. He's in prime position for a red arrow, but he's missed the corner. Oh, going to the top. High risk. This map. Look out. Oh, he is. Well, he's Neville missed. Three times, earned himself a number one contender spot in NXT. It's his resilience. Well, you might argue, King, that his resiliency, while a great strength, might also be a weakness. He's always fighting for today and rarely thinks about his next match or his future. Well, I don't even know what Corey Graves' finisher is. Champion, it's Cole. not that close line. Could have won this match a little bit quicker. Watch the red arrow. Apparently, got some submission. 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 Submission to the lucky 13. 11 kick out. Corey Graves gets out of trouble and quickly. Adrian Neville making a move. The Frankensteiner. Runner. Poison runner. Trying to put him away. The intensity. Yeah, what a move. I have forgotten what's flipped them over. Corey Graves gets out of trouble and quickly. I probably should learn. Reverse. That should One, do it right there. Two. I'm finished just gone. That's how you pick your moment and go for it. Another. We know what this is. You gotta be kidding me. Devastating. Simple. Devastating. Adrian Neville climbing up a Oh. Oh. Lights out. One. Two. Two. Three. Figured out how to flip them. You just press the right analog stick. I didn't know that. I didn't know. It made it take way longer than you needed to, and a trophy. Neville is victorious here on NXT. We've got one match to go in the Neville story. Hopefully it's not as hard as the final match in Sami Zayn's playthrough, because that was brutal. But Neville is victorious. He's vanquished his former tag team partner. In our final match, it is for the NXT Championship. Adrian Neville defending against Bo Dallas. There's a rematch. Bo Dallas activated his rematch clause. Champion's out first for some reason. I hate when the champion comes out first. Champion always comes out second. 
And does he even get a ring introduction? He doesn't. Okay, making his way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Weighing in at 217 pounds. He is the man that gravity forgot. Adrian Neville. It's just a straight singles match. Justin Roberts is there, doing a great job in AEW at the moment. Why didn't he introduce him to the ring? Maybe he's going to do it in the ring. Maybe he's got the in-ring introduction. When did they start doing that? I can't remember. But they were doing it in NXT. Believe. Did that great stint in the Royal Rumble one year when he was still in NXT. Just didn't really do anything great on the main roster. Was part of the Social Outcast faction. A long I'm trying to remember who was in that. Um... Kruger, who did he become? Um, I've forgotten his name, that's really, really bad. Uh, I, who else was in the social, Heath Slater was in the social outcasts. Was Kozlov in that? I don't, I can't even remember. I honestly cannot remember. Oh, Heath Slater, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. Oh, and Adam Rose was in there, that's right, I've forgotten his name. I just remember him as Leo Kruger for some reason. Um, also, a part of the B team with Curtis Axel. B team, B team, go, go, go. And as the Miz's henchmen, they did a pretty good job. As the Misfits. He is Taylor Rotunda and brother. Um, Bray Wyatt and Bray Wyatt no longer. Introducing the challenger from Brooksville, Florida, weighing 234 pounds, Bo Dallas. And his opponent from Newcastle upon Tyne, weighing 194 pounds, he is the NXT champion, Adrian Neville. 194 pounds, is that it? I thought he was well over 200. Well done, Justin Roberts. He always does the big out of breath introduction as well, so if he's doing Neville, it'd be like, Adrian Neville! Four top rope right moves. No worries. There's one. Does that count? Even two. Oh, spine buster. It's like a lowdown. D'Lo Brown. Get down with the Brown. I love D'Lo Brown. He just thought he should have got more than he did. Always one of my favourites. Even when he was with Low Down with Chaz, I still liked D.O. I was so upset when he wasn't in the 2001 Royal Rumble, 2002 Royal Rumble. Which was that one with Drew Carey. Oh, that's 2001. And they finally got their wish at arrival when his reign came to a crashing halt. What would you say went wrong for Bo Dallas at NXT arrival? Well, he lost, that's for one. But I'd say that Bo Dallas isn't a high flyer like Adrian Neville. Very often, those types of matches favor the superstar with the aerial assault. Incoming! Bam! Oh! Oh! Now there's some weird third hidden objective, so I don't know what I have to do. Oh, he's got to do whatever he can here for to that. Try to break so hopefully I can do it in one go, not have to replay the match over and over and over again. Oh, hit the ropes. Billy Kidman style, when he tried that shooting star press and he just hit the top rope. Poor Billy. 
the shooting star press always looks just a little bit dangerous. Controversial circumstances was astounding. Hey, some people operate under the by any means necessary belief. Dallas with a red arrow. Should I say belief? Nail Dallas. Nail Dallas with a red arrow. Not hit him. Nail him. What an incredible suplex. Poison Rana. I just love saying it. So much fun. He's heading back up. At least I know how to turn him now. What a move. Defeat the Dallas with a reverse 450. I don't know how to do that. He's going to have to a different game plan. Of course, Bo Dallas defeated Big E for the NXT title back in June 2013 and went on to hold the title longer than anybody in NXT history. 280 days. He ran into Adrian Neville. Bo Dallas didn't have an answer for Neville then, and it looks like he doesn't have one for him here tonight. Reverse 450 is just the direction and triangle. So not quite as hard as Sammy's, Sammy Zayn's three finishes, which was just brutally difficult, especially as you had to let Cesaro hit you with a finisher first. So pretty much he could pin you any time while you're trying to build up three finishes. And Cesaro was on Undertaker to beat the streak difficulty as well. Low down again. Absolutely obsessed with regaining the NXT Championship here tonight. I should be able to hit this 450, and that would be the end. Over and over. He's definitely prepared for this one. Yeah, I saw the same thing, Cole. But you know what else I noticed? He didn't have that confident smirk on his face. He was fully immersed in learning everything he roll, could. Roll up. His shoulders are down. Two. Two. Did you see that, Cole? Talk about getting your spine adjusted. Jeez. Whoa! He's measuring Adrian Neville delivering tripling punishment. Perfect. Get up the ropes. Adrian Neville looking to fly high. Reverse 450. He's out. Pin him. Pin him. As I didn't have to pin him with the move. Two, two, three, three. And it's over. Adrian Neville does it. What a monumental win. So that's been Crabman from Crabman Gaming. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't clicked a quick like or comment. And still NXT champion, Adrian Neville. Or a subscription, mate. Oh, hell. And Adrian Neville is still your NXT champion until he lost it to Sami Zayn at TakeOver Our Revolution in 2014, but the Neville would be off to the main roster. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned for the next video, which will be Rusev.